The island of Sodor is surrounded by beautiful blue sea. It has fields of green and sandy yellow beaches. There are rivers, streams, and lots of trees where the birds sing. There are windmills and a coal mine, and docks where visitors to the island arrive. Welcome to the island of Sodor. Strong winds were buffeting the island of Sodor. The engines were finding work difficult. Trains were often delayed, if not cancelled, due to line obstructions. One evening, the big engines were huddled in the shed, listening to the howling gales. Daisy, the diesel rail car, had taken shelter with them. The wind ripped a crossing gate right off its post. She explained, "Poor Thomas's front end was awfully damaged. They were still removing bits of fencing when I was ordered to stay here." "Poh!" sniffed Gordon. "Count on a small engine to be impeded by a few toothpicks." <laughs> Before Daisy could reply, Henry backed into the shed, grumbling dreadfully. The kipper's been cancelled. He fumed. Bother! I was looking forward to a nice evening run. Oh, not you too, Henry," groaned Gordon. "A little wind shouldn't stop engines like us." Fat controller's orders, Gordon," Henry retorted. He doesn't think the vans can weather the winds. Oh, you're just being silly," Gordon yawned. "You watch me tomorrow." I'll be right on schedule, whatever the weather. Though still strong, the winds had lessened by morning. Gordon had just left on his first express run, but was not enjoying himself. Speed restrictions were in place. And no matter how fast he tried to go, his driver held him back. Calm down, Gordon. I've already got the storms to worry about. I don't need you trying to knock me out of the cab. It's shameful. It's shameful, Gordon grunted, and he grudgingly slowed down. Leading up to Edward Station, the main line is surrounded by farmers' fields. One farmer who worked closer to the line had recently built a small shed for his equipment. He was pleased with his handiwork, but didn't realize how lightweight the structure was. Too easily, the strong winds picked up the shed and blew it across the field. Gordon felt uncomfortable. The wind picked up again, and cold rain stung his face as he forged along the line. I can't see a thing, he groaned. That makes two of us, grunted the driver. If we can just make it, good grief! What's that? Remnants of the wooden shed clung to his front end, which was feeling rather sore. You're a sight for sore eyes," teased Ben. "Bent buffers, worn brakes—that's not the make of a proper express engine. By the looks of it, he wouldn't even make a proper shed." Laughed Bill. Gordon felt too worn out to retort. 
he soon found himself being shunted onto Henry's goods train. Well, 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 chuckled Henry. You were on schedule, all right. Be careful in future, will you? I'd much rather see you pulling the express than housing tools. For once, Gordon felt Henry's words were worth eating. <laughs>